Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Reviews. You see by the title below, this is on episode 23 of Ace Attorney. And yes, that means there's only one more episode left in the season. Only one more episode left for this arc to be finished. How did I feel about this episode? Honestly, I definitely enjoyed it. It was like pretty crazy to see like it was both, you know, Edgeworth and Phoenix trying to stall for time in a way. And you could really see the desperateness of, you know, Phoenix trying to say everything he said was about chance, chance, chance. And it was interesting because normally we don't really hear much from the, you know, the other people in the courtroom. But this time, we, you know, all the people there were like, what? What is this? All he talks about is chance, chance. Or... I knew he was the killer and all that kind of stuff and it was really interesting to have that little dynamic put into this in comparison to the other you know um, trials we had they didn't really say much the people in the background because it wasn't really necessary but this one it really gives the the whole showing of you know Phoenix really the whole time he was he didn't really have a great argument to go against it they were really just stalling for time for Dick Gumshoe to go and try and find Maya to which, of course, at first, at the beginning, you see he heard a cat. He's like, oh my gosh, I know who it was. It was the butler. We got to go there. And I'm just like over here like, are you kidding me? I, how did you only find out now? I mean, the whole point of him, you know, sending you there to feed his cat and all of a sudden he has a butler? Doesn't that kind of strike you as kind of weird? But it was pretty cool to see Maya pretty much like leaving breadcrumbs each time, you know, the... The picture thing and then also one of the crazy things that I saw in the forums about this was that the whole thing with um, Celeste the uh, you know the Adrian's sister she's actually not her sister in the game this is actually something they changed in it that's quite weird why did they decide to do that like I was like when I was looking at the forums I was like wait a minute really they're not really sisters that's not actually something completely changed and different in this hmm wonder why they would do that then I guess it makes it seem more like I guess you know in terms of if they're sisters it would make more sense for her to try and change these kind of things we do learn that Adrian the whole um, er, you know she finally testifies this time everything behind it and she's actually the one who stabbed the body of course you know he was already dead in that point at that point but um it was pretty much to try and frame both the guys who killed her sister and that's pretty much what happens and pretty much where we got that whole point we get more into the whole you know the camera kind of thing we get more into there we find a suicide note in the back of a bear to which I heard a lot of people on the forums were also kind of mad because it was something totally more complex of a puzzle instead of just ching, clicking the you know the tail of the bear anyone there everyone's like anyone could have found that out kind of thing but you have to know that in, for the game, they want you to make more of, you know, have more you going into trying to find this puzzle kind of thing. That's why they make it a complex puzzle. But for this kind of stuff, they don't want to have the guy like, oh, hmm, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? They have to figure out some way that they'd be able to easily find, you know, figure out how to open it. No one else is going to touch the damn bear's tail unless you know, you know, that that's a thing and obviously Adrian knew that because that's her sister and that's the whole point that's why I don't really get why people were getting super pissed off at that part it makes sense for an anime adaptation for it like that to use that because instead of having it that it's not us trying to figure out the puzzle it's them they're not gonna have them going like oh okay figure this puzzle this like this and that that something like that kind of thing it's going to be something like this, something easy like that, where only the sister would know kind of thing. And that's why that whole thing ended up going like that. Um, but overall, obviously, <laughs> I did not expect a very ending with um, D-Killer pretty much, you know, testifying. Of course, it's a radio. It was pretty funny. Everyone was like, what the hell? He's coming? He's going to appear? <laughs> Here's a radio. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You know? But yeah, honestly, in my opinion, for an anime watcher only... I still enjoyed it. I still thought it was a pretty good episode. I really like the aspect of seeing, you know, how desperate that Phoenix really was throughout the whole, you know, trial with the whole, you know, people in the trial, in the courtroom, pretty much like saying, whoa, you know, disagreeing with him. Like, why is he doing this? It's all chance, chance, chance. Even the judge said, you know, more chance kind of thing. And then you have, you know, 
Edgeworth, who is definitely helping him, he's definitely helping him, but he's still trying to, you know, he's still throwing, he's not holding back punches and stuff, you know, until the very end, of course, he does agree, like, yeah, let's have a 30 minute recess to try and figure out this, you know, the whole, what's it called, um, handwriting ana analysis kind of thing. So it, it was pretty interesting to see this. It's like a race against time kind of thing. They have to stall so Dick Gumshoe can pretty much, you know, find Maya. To which it, I found it kind of weird when Gumshoe found that evidence, uh, the, the CD, I'm guessing is probably the thing that was missing before. How Maya got it, I'm not too sure. But, it, you know, obviously they did the sidekick thing as well. That's how Mia shows up again. And that's how she was able to figure out where Maya was. But, of course... I don't know, D-Killer is always one step ahead, always one step ahead, yet he manages manages to not notice Maya leaving certain things. I don't understand that part at all. Um, and how she got her hands on the CD. Oh, actually, you know what? She got it, her hands on there because it was somewhere in there and she took it, I guess. I don't know why she didn't just leave it with the picture frame, but I guess that's the only reason I can think of like that. But um, I just love the aspect of you know them trying to figure out where she is their um, D killer is always one step ahead. She's got to like leave breadcrumbs for them to find and everything. It was honestly pretty interesting to watch that kind of aspect. Like literally this trial so far for an anime watcher only, it's completely different from every single other one that's gone that's happened so far and I've definitely enjoyed it. Maybe it's completely there's a lot of things changed from the game. I understand the whole there's only 4 episodes for this arc. There's not enough to fully adapt one of the best, you know, scene uh, one of the best parts in the game which definitely sucks but overall from an anime watcher point of view I've definitely still enjoyed it definitely still excited to see how everything is going to end in the last episode you know what oh yeah I almost forgot what I found weird was when Gumshoe crashed Phoenix's expression was just like oh he's an idiot kind of thing I don't know about that it could have literally been the fact that D killer stopped him kind of thing I don't know, just see, hearing him crash, the phone cutting off, you gotta be scared a little bit, like, holy shit, what's happening with Gumshoe? You know, that's evidence you need, kind of thing. But instead, he's just like, huh, what an idiot, kind of thing. You know, like, what the hell? I know Gumshoe's an idiot sometimes, but I I'm pretty sure you should be a little worried about that, to be honest. But, yeah, the next episode should be interesting. D-Killer testifying, what's gonna happen, are they gonna be able to find Maya in time, Where? Ha what happened to Gumshoe? Everything's going to finally conclude in this last episode of the arc and the season overall. Can't wait to see how well everything concludes in this one. But yeah, that's all I really got to say, guys. Hope you enjoyed this Anime Kingdom Bro view. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed, and you want to talk about, comment below as well. And if you um, do enjoy, don't forget to like. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content really just help the channel. And as always, Anime Watchers, feel free to comment your thoughts, what you thought about this episode, how you felt about this arc so far anything like that and you know people who played the game feel free to comment your thoughts on everything was there a lot of things taken out how did you, do you are you still enjoying the whole um, arc still yet even if they are taking things out do you think these changes are really bad like some of the people in the forums are or do you think otherwise feel free to comment below your thoughts on everything and yeah that's all I gotta say guys so till next time see ya